What's up everybody, it's Sean Hayes here with Keller Williams. So, I'm gonna make this quick little video talking a little bit about real estate, all right? About this whole coronavirus and markets and stuff like that. I get a lot of questions every day. Hey, how's the market doing? Market's doing fantastic right now. One thing to keep in mind is that your real estate market is not affected like the stock market. So you're not gonna see, Lord have mercy, a 25% drop in your real estate prices over the past week like we have seen in the stock market, right? If uh, anybody owns, um, any stocks, they probably are hurting a little bit. So real estate, uh, it's not its not the same. It's less volatile, right? That's why people like investing in real estate. That's why owning a house is one of the safest things that you can do, even going through pandemics. So besides that, I hope everybody's staying safe in these times. Wash your hands, stay inside, stay in quarantine. Get some good time with your family. All right, on the real estate. I kind of want to talk a, a little bit about real estate prices. All right, let's go. So I've had a lot of people ask me, is now the time to buy a house or to sell your house mainly? All right. So since 08, this was a real estate crisis. All right. We are not in a real estate crisis at this point in time. All right. This was caused by a whole bunch of other stuff that we could do another video on, uh, mainly terrible mortgage backed securities. But since then, that was a deep, deep, deep deep dive into uh, real estate prices taking a significant drop, right? A lot of bad things happen. But since then, we have been in a pretty steady bull market in real estate. So prices have been increasing, 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 increasing over time. For more than 10 years, uh, real estate prices have been going up. There's market shifts in every, um, in every, every market, especially real estate. Um, but for the past, 10 years, we've been in a good time for people to buy and sell houses, right? People who bought 10 years ago have seen significant appreciation. People have, who have been, who have bought uh, recently have seen tremendously low um, interest rates. So it's been a really win-win. But now we're getting to the question of, should I sell my house right now during the hashtag Rona 2020 pandemic? Well, here is some food for thought. Let's say you're gonna try to time the market. And let's say, we're at the peak here, right? We're at the plateau. So maybe prices are here for a little shift, a little correction, and they're gonna start heading down after this. So my answer to that is, should you sell your house right now? Yeah, if you think that we're at the top of the market, you're gonna be able to maximize the gains uh, from when you bought your house, you know, if, uh, either 10 years ago or however long ago. We are at a significantly higher point in time. So right now is a great time to sell. But let's say you wanna to try to time the market because not only are you gonna sell your house, but you're gonna buy a house. So if you want to sell it now, some things to think about is that house that you're going to buy is also at the top of the market. Okay. So let's say you're going to be able to sell this house for a hundred thousand dollars and the house that you want to buy is $220,000. Both of these are at the top of the market. Nothing is specifically special about your house. That's going to be different besides that price point. Okay, especially if you're in this price point, you're going to be able to sell it extremely quick. We're still in a very low inventory market and we still have a lot of buyers out there who are looking to get into a place uh, soon. Let's say you want to try to time the market, right? Okay, not only are you going to try to time the market to sell your house, but to buy your house. So if you sell your house now, you'll be able to make $100,000. But let's say you're trying to time it. Now your house, just due to some terrible circumstances, has seen some depreciation and now it's only worth 80,000. So that's a loss of 20K, all right? And the house, you'll still be able to sell it, right? And the house that you were gonna buy that was at 220 is now only worth 200,000, right? It dropped 20K. So you see what I'm talking about, about timing the market? It's really not gonna play a huge role because the 20K that you would've made now you lost in depreciation. The house, the 20K that you're gonna put into the house that you're gonna buy, now went down in depreciation. So there's really no significantly different. So I hope this video was helpful about trying to time the market. Something to think about. Don't try to time the market, right? If we were able to time the market, we probably wouldn't be working here. We'd be working at Wall Street or something like that. But we're not. I'm right here with you. I'm trying to be as informative as possible about timing the market. It just typically never works out, right? That's why index funds are so popular. It's not the time that you try to time the market, but it's the time that you're in the market. 
So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free to reach out to me. Call, text, email, slide my DMs at any time. Besides that, Sean Hayes here with Keller Williams, Greater Athens, signing off.